All right, we are uh, installing a backup camera today, and uh, it's going to be in this 2006 Toyota Sienna. It's going to go on the license plate. You can see how far I've gotten so far. I've removed the top trim piece off of the uh, the back door. Got the side trim piece off. Got this uh, major trim piece off of the back door. Almost all the way off. They've got all these little clips here. And you just pull straight down and they pop right out. Except one of them up in there is broken. Hopefully I can get another one or that one might not matter as much. So now what I've just done is I pulled off this little piece here. He just pried off gently. He's got these little things that hold it on there so you can see how you might be able to get it off without breaking it. And I'm going to take that off and hopefully get access so that I can get at the back of the back side of the back door. I'm looking at trying to route it up through the, the lens. So I ended up taking the whole back panel off so I can get access to the back of that um, license plate light. I popped it out, pushed these two cords through, and then got it almost all the way back in and glued it. And you can see I need to put this cord back in place here like this. It's you now it's back in and I used a little gorilla glue. I did uh, do a homemade grommet around the opening with a tiny piece of duct tape. But it didn't feel sharp anyway, and I feel like right, this video could off. be titled How to Remove the Overhead Console on a 2006 Toyota Sienna. There were two screws. They were uh, Torx screws. Number, oh, uh, I don't know, one of those sizes. And then it had a clip on the side that I just kind of worked down and it popped out without causing any damage and you can see behind there the lights there's not too much going on just one power source that I'll tap into for my video screen. Alright so I uh, removed the sunglass holder on the driver's side here and it had these two pieces this one piece was kind of sandwiched it was sandwiching the headliner to um, to keep it tight to the headliner and it uses a couple of these Torx screws and it's even got a little sliding thing inside there so you slide it this thing needs to stay still and then this thing just pop right off alright so these overhead guys come out pretty easy the overhead vents on the uh, this driver's side just using a large Torx screw with a ratchet loosen it a little bit and I get it the rest of the way by hand and then they just uh, they've got these uh, wings that engage the headliner you just slide it to one side and it pops off alright we've got the first cable pulled through the ceiling did have a whoops you want to remove the power cable before drilling the hole through because the drill bit tore right through so I've got to do a little repair on the plug, but I was going to have to splice anyway, so I guess now I'll just have to splice that. So I managed to, uh, with, with the help of another person, I routed the, uh, the wires, as the trim was put back, but up through this rubber grommet. It was a little hard. I had to actually pull this, this grommet out of here, and it just... I lifted it off and then there's a, a plastic grommet that keeps the hole safe for the wires and uh, got this scrunched up and fished my, my wires up through and now I've just been cable tying them all the way around to the existing wiring harnesses and I had about one foot of extra uh, RCA cable so it was just big enough for a minivan and uh, now I'm about to button it up the rest of the way and it's gonna go. One thing about removing the um, 
the whole rear trim piece off of the van is it had these two little clips that engaged so I wanted to hinge down from the top and then you had to carefully remove this. One other note about removing this, I actually realized that you just slide it straight up off. It just wants to slide off and on to expose the bolt. So there's the finished uh, installation. You can see the scale of it. I created, I added a, um, a block of MDF that I painted with a metallic silver to try to kind of match. Probably tan would have been better. But then it's screwed into this. It holds it securely in place. Wire, I might do a little something to hide it so up there. That, here, I can demonstrate. I just put the car in reverse. And now it's showing me a picture of my garage door. Because now they're watching a movie. The DVD player is plugged in to the 10 inch wide backup camera screen.